a new upper body today. I've got lots of weights. I've got a chair as a prop. I've got some bands, some stretchy bands. And then I also have those other bands that I uh, spoke of one time before where we attach it over the door or at the middle or underneath. So I've got those over there you can't see, but I will get to those in a little bit. So I hope you're ready to work out. We're going to do lots and lots of sweating, I hope. So get your gloves on, get some water. All right. So it just kind of feels good to have gloves. I don't know. makes you feel a little bit more serious. I've mentioned that before, but it also protects your hands. Um, you might not have to grip quite so hard with your hand muscles. <laughs> so you can just sort of lightly let those weights sit there. Okay, so let's warm up. Take a big inhale, breath up. Exhale out. Squat four times. Nice and easy here. Drop down up, one more, and then just do that all again. Inhale up to the top. Exhale out, squat four times in a row. Hips back and under. One more, and then last time for this. Inhale up, exhale out. Squat four, three, two. Now swing it out right, left here. We just go down, up down, up, swing the arms side to side. So we just want to loosen up that body, get those joints nice and loose. So when we're doing movement like this, what it does is it increases the synovial fluid in the joints. That's kind of like your body's own built in WD-40. We know what that does. Helps lubricate the joints and allows the body to move more freely Friction-free, pain-free. Let's go four, three, two. Now step hamstring curl. Arms are gonna reach and pull from the front. Heels to the rear. Kick the seat. Heels up, heels up. Kick it up, kick it up. Four more. Three, two more. Now double curl on the left side. Two over here and two over here. Double curl left. Double curl on the right. Go four more. Three. Two more. Back to single hamstring curl. So this time it's bicep curl, tricep press back. So curl and press. Be mindful of the movement, warming up the biceps and the triceps. So we'll kind of go through all those arm actions that we'll be doing later with weight. Good. Should start to increase that respiration, like breathing a little heavier, right? Good, let's go. Four, three, two. Now toes stay down, it's upright row arms. So you reach and pull, elbows up and out. Think about squeezing shoulder blades together here at the top. We go down, up, up, up and out. Good, now front raises. So just stop it right there at shoulder level. Don't go too high. Go up, down, up. Now step, touch it, left, right. Side lateral raise, arms here. Elbows are bent and they lift up right to shoulder level. Lift, drop, lift, drop. Good, now step, touch, bring it in, step, touch. Four, three, two. Now chest press out to the front, push front, push front. Four, three, two. Overhead press now, arms reach, overhead, press up, down, up, down, up. Still step touching, side to side. Good, go four, 
go three, go two. Now feet wide apart. We're gonna alternate reaching up, one arm, and the other nice stretch through the front side of the body. Lengthening, arm up, up. Good, here you go, four, three, two. Now reach across the front here, corner to corner. Reach around and around. Brace with your core muscles so you protect that low back. You're not just kind of wrenching around with momentum. You want to use your core to protect the back. Here we go. Four, three, two. Now plant the feet and lunge it side to side here. Back and forth. Four, three, two. Now drop down up in the middle here with the shoulder drop and lift. Other way, bring it up, drop down and up. So when you drop, open the knees up wide there. Inhale, exhale. Down up four, down up three, two more. Good, now walk your feet together here and then bring the hands behind the back. You're gonna march in place. Just stretch through the chest and the shoulders here. So lift the chin slightly. Good, bring the hands to the front. Now bend the knees, just drop down and up a little baby squat. And as you round your spine, belly in, chin drops, looking at the floor. Shoulder blades are spreading apart there. One more. Good, now inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, let's take it into a right tricep stretch. So you're grabbing that elbow and you're pulling it behind the head, side lean, even getting that wonderful torso stretch. Inhale up. Exhale, breath. Side lean to the right, stretching left triceps. Good, inhale, breath up. Exhale, let's take this shoulder muscle into a stretch. So drop it down, bring your feet together and feel that wonderful pull across the upper back, rear delt, all the way around. Good, swing it out. And then other side. So pull that left arm across, drop your shoulder down. Feel that, again, wonderful stretch across the upper back, the rear delt, and all the way around to the front here. Woo Good, and then just swing it out again. All right, so make a fist and circle the wrists around and around. Good, go the other way, circle opposite direction. Good, and then make a fist, open it up, make a fist, open it up. Squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open. Uh, 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 uh. All right, shake it out. All right, so you should feel a little warmer, a little elevated heart rate. So let's begin with dumbbell curls. So I'm gonna get um, a new set of weights that I don't think y'all have seen before. So these, by the way, are gold. <laughs> Not really, I wish. <laughs> but I had somebody paint these for me. They were just the kind of gross gray metal and the metal was peeling off and um, I found a, um, painter, a professional painter that did this for me, cleaned all my dumbbells off. I've got them from fives up to 35s. And uh, he painted them sort of this bronzy gold. I just thought, you know, why do they have to be gray metal ugly? They need to be gold because they're worth their weight in gold. It is like gold. Um, this is truly a treasure. All right, so standing with the feet hip width apart, we're gonna alternate hammer curls. Let's go. So we go up and we go up and up. So keep those elbows kind of pinned close to the body, close to the waist. Stand up tall. And you want to keep your wrist locked and straight. Don't let it go limp. You want to protect the wrist. So curl it up, curl it up, up. Thumb comes right up to the shoulder muscle here. Breathe. So we go eight more, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Now double bicep curl, so both arms come up, both drop down. So when you do your curl, let's do a little baby squat there. So a little drop in the hips, and then release all the way to straight arms. Curl it up, 
Release, fully extend those elbows. So sometimes the tendency is just to not like stop right there and then just kind of hurl it up from that point. No, go all the way to straight because from here to there, there's a lot of work and that is, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the harder portion of the exercise. So it's two counts to curl it up, two to drop down, and again, two up, two down. And it's a strong bicep curl. Release, curl it up, and release. Go four more, down, down. Three more, down, down. Last two. Good, one more time, and then we're gonna go back to the hammer curls, alternating, ready, go. So it's right arm, left arm, curl, curl. So it's fast repetition, try to control it. You go up and up. Try not to swing, try not to use that momentum. It's tempting, because it makes it easier. Like I said, the body seems to find that pathway of least resistance. Hang in there, we got eight more reps. Give me eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Now double bicep curl slowly up to the top and then lower down. Do it again. When you curl, just a little baby squat there. Nothing big, just a little dropping in the hips. Try to keep that body moving. Try to keep that circulation flowing around. Curl it up. Inhale on the release. Curl it up. Inhale, let's go four more, and then lower it down, three more, and then lower it down, two more, and lower it down. One more time, curl it up, and lower it down. All right, so drop those, swing your arms out. So those were eight pounders, just so you know, kind of going up a little bit in weight here today. Okay, so next, I'm gonna get my bands that are attached kind of low around the door. If you don't have bands like I'm about to do, just pick up those weights again and do the bicep curls with me. So, hopefully you can see me, right? So these bands have handles, nice handles to hold on to. And it has that loop on the end. I have a towel through it. And then I open the door right there, put it on the other side, shut the door, and it's secure. All right, so I'm going to squat, and I'm going to do one row, and then I'm going to squat and do a bicep curl over the top. Ooh, this is hard. Squat, and then a standing row here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl it over the top. Do it again. Reaching out nice and long. Stand tall and pull back. Inhale here, exhale, curl it over the top. And again, squat, pull, squat. Just trying to see if you can see. Let's go one more slowly. Then we're gonna pick up the pace here. Reach, now let's speed it up right now. So we squat, row, squat, curl it over. Inhale, exhale. Come on, go four more full sets. That means four of each. Three. Two. One more. Good, now back to slow tempo. So reach out, stand up, pull back. Squat reach, stand up, curl over the top. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl it over the top. Do it again. One more slowly. And then pull back. One more slowly here. Good. Get ready. Speed it up. We squat row, squat curl. Again. Squat row, squat curl. Squat row. Curl it. Do three more. Two more. One more. One row and one curl. All right, ha. Okay. Swing it out. All right, so next we're going to do some triceps. So have your band I have here. Um, 
I don't know what kind of chair you have. There's all different kinds. This one does not have arms, and it is kind of high, but it has this nice uh, back. I don't know, can you see that? It has a back, and I threaded the band through the back side. All right, maybe I'll scooch this in a little bit here. All right, so I'm gonna grab a hold. So this works nicely if you don't have the kind of bands that I was just using. So I'm gonna prop my leg up on the chair so I don't like pull it over on top of me. So I'm gonna glue the elbows in close to the side body, a little bit of a lean, straightening those arms back, straighten back. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Go four more, go three, go two. Now hold those arms straight here and lift up, lift up, lift. So the straight arm lift still works triceps, but it also hits the rear delt, the back side of the shoulder muscles. Press up, press up, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go, eight more reps, come on. Seven, six, and five, four, three, Two, now back to tricep kickbacks. You bend and you straighten. Inhale, exhale. Here we go, four. Last three, last two. Now hold the arm straight here on one. You straight arm lift it, straight arm lift it. Pinkies up and the thumbs are pointing downwards. Keep going. Owie, owie, eight more, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one, and then let go. Shake it out. All right, so over here, I'm gonna use my band that's attached up high over the door. I'm gonna be doing some tricep press downs with those handles. So this would mimic, if you're at a gym in a cable crossover area, you usually slide that pulley up. You usually have a rope, right, with little knobs on the end, and you do your tricep press downs, or there might be kind of a curl bar like that, and you can hold it over the top there, or you can even go underhand grip and throw it down that way. So if you do not have any of these bands, then for you, what you can do is get maybe a slightly lighter set of weights, and you can do tricep kickbacks there, just like that, all right? but I'm gonna get these nice bands. Because I like bands. All right. All right, so elbows are in close to the body here, and then I'm gonna straighten the arms back. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, push back. Inhale, stand up. So notice how my inner arms, my elbows are almost kind of glued right against my side body here. They're not drifting up like this. This is a common cheat. So keep your elbows fixed in place right there against the body. So you really make your triceps work hard to maintain that position. And because I'm bending over here like this, it requires a little abdominal work. So it's almost like a standing core exercise. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Let's go faster now. Eight reps go. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four more. Three, two more. One more. Back to slow tempo. Let's go. Straighten the arms back. Hi, yay, yay. This is a harder band. Hi, yay, 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 yay. Hee. And then stand up. Come on, push back. Inhale, stand up. Four more slowly. Let's go. Four. Inhale up. Exhale, three. Stand it up. Two more. One more slow. Get ready. It's eight reps, quickly. Do it, down up eight. Seven, six, you should feel your triceps. Five, four more, three, two more. One more time, woo hoo. All right, so let go. 
<laughs> Swing your arms out. Okay, good tricep work. All right. So next we're gonna do some rows with one arm. Dumbbell rows. So you can do it without the assist of a chair. I think I need to move this guy around here, more in front. So you can do like that, just standing here, or you can use a chair. Actually, I'm gonna bring this over here. You can use a chair to kind of give you a little bit of support for the low back. So grab one dumbbell, or maybe two, just a little bit heavier, and as you do that dumbbell row, you're gonna be working lats, a little bicep, and the rear delts. All right, so I'm gonna do a 10 and a five together, a gold one and a black one. So I've got the dumbbells in my right hand, right leg is back, toe slightly out, left foot here, left knee bent. Let's go, you pull and you reach. Exhale, pull, inhale, reach. Think about pulling this shoulder back and down, right there. You've got eight more reps on this side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold your elbow up here, small and tight, little hikes up, elbow up and up. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Hang in there, you got eight more to go. Eight, come on, seven, six, five, and four. Three, two, one. Now drop the dumbbells down and then just circle the arm around and around. Just a nice loosening up, releasing of the tension there. One more. Good, now bring this arm across the chest in front here. Drop your shoulder down. And then inhale, stretch that right arm up. Exhale, bend, and you're gonna do a little tricep lat stretch over here to your left. Ah, good job, inhale up. Exhale down, shoulders roll around. Okay, left hand, other side, same thing. Let's see. My light is on, okay, good. Okay, so right hand on the chair or ottoman or couch or whatever, <clears throat> and if you don't have that, I'm sure you do, but you just pull the arm up. Who doesn't have a chair in their house, right? Okay, so left foot back straight, slight toe out, right foot underneath the knee here, and a slight bend in the knee. Here we go, elbow up, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull, inhale, reach. <sighs> So we've got eight more just like this. Up seven. Come on, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold that elbow up here on one, small and tight. Little lifts, come on, pull it up. And pull, and pull. Elbow hikes up past the waist. Exhale, pull. Almost there, it's eight. Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop the dumbbells down. Stand up, circle that arm around and back. Big circle around, around and back. Good, now bring this arm across the chest here in front. Drop your shoulder, and as you pull it in towards the chest, wonderful stretch for your shoulder. Good, inhale, breath up. Exhale, bend your elbow. So this is now tricep lat stretch here on your left. So draw that elbow back behind the head and breathe. Good, inhale, breath up. Exhale down, roll the shoulders around. So let's do one more set. If you can, make it heavier somehow. So if you can hold three weights together or just two of your heaviest ones, whatever you've got. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with 20, 20 pounds. So that's two tens. These black ones are 10 pounds a piece. All right, so. Oh, got them in my right hand. 
Left hand here, right leg back, left foot underneath. So kind of get that posture and alignment and positioning set up. Let this arm drop. Here we go. Elbow pulls up and reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Come on, eight more reps. Do it. Up eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. Hold that arm up here on one. Now just eight of these little lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then drop the dumbbells down. Circle that arm <clears throat> around and back, around and back. One more. Good. Now bring this arm across the chest here. Shoulder drops. Nice stretch for your shoulder. And then inhale, breath. Stretch that right arm up. Exhale, bend it. Tricep lat stretch as you take a little lean over here to your left. You could even bend that right knee a little bit. Get a deeper stretch. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, shoulders roll around. Okay, other side. So left hand, grab the same weight. Don't ever do a different <laughs> weight on one side versus the other, unless you just know that your left arm is weaker and you want to do more weight, something like that a scenario would be totally okay. But in general, you want to <laughs> do the same amount of weight. Okay, so grab a hold in the left hand, right hand in on the chair, right foot in front, left leg back. All right, ready, let's go. Elbow pulls up, reach, exhale, pull, inhale, reach, up three, pull it up, four, you got this, five. Here we go, eight more reps like this, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold this elbow up on one. Now eight little lifts up, eight, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop the weights down. And then big giant circles around and back, round and back. Two more, so just loosening it up, stretching it out, and then let's pull this left arm across. Drop your shoulder down. Good, inhale breath, <clears throat> arms up. Bend your left elbow, push it back. A little side lean, so we're stretching triceps, lats, obliques. Bend that left knee a little bit and you'll get a deeper side body lean. Should feel really good. Good, inhale up. Exhale, shoulders roll around to the back. All right, shake it out, kick it out. Get some water if you have it, or whatever you've got to drink. Get a sip. All right, time for some shoulders, more delt work. So we're going to go side raises, front raises, upright rows, rear delt, and then overhead press. So kind of like a super set. So not like super heavy on this because we're just going to go and go and go and go and go and go <laughs> until you can't go anymore. That's the secret to fitness. Okay. Let me do a little wardrobe rearrangement here of this battery pack. All right, so stand, feet bow, hip width apart, elbows right here, let's go, we're gonna lift, drop it down. So again, the squat is not the important part. It's just nice to keep that whole body moving, I think. And somehow the two just go together. <laughs> I need you to stand there and do nothing with a low body while your upper body's working. It's always nice to kind of maximize your time, I think, right? Let's go four more of these guys. Three, two, now nice and slow. It's gonna be a front raise. So the thumbs come up here and then you lower down. 
So as you do your little baby squat, you lift the arms up, slight bend in the elbows there. Don't lock it out straight. Just right to shoulder level and then stand up tall. A little baby squat with a front raise. And again, those thumbs are leading the way upwards. When you come down, control it and stop right there. Here's a tendency. Whee! And then it's no work to get them up there. So do not do that. That was, that was a demo of cheating. So we come down and we come up. And then here. And then up. Lift. Drop. One more slow. Give me eight reps quickly now. Up, down, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, from here, flip the palms that way. Bend the knees. A little hip hinge. And then extend the arms back a little bit more. The palms are facing the ceiling. Let's go. Straight arms lifting up and up. So this is hitting the back side of the shoulders. Your rear delts. Exhale, push. Come on. Hang in there. Let's go. Eight more reps. You got it. Seven, six, five, and four, and three, two, one. Now bring the dumbbells here right beside side your head hands are facing each other and you're just going to go into overhead press alternating so right arm goes up left arm goes up so one common tendency is to kind of push it out this is an exaggeration but kind of push it that way this is not good on the shoulder joint so try to get that arm directly over the shoulder joint so straight up it's almost going to feel as if you're going like that, like even maybe hyperextending. You're not, but it just may feel that way. So here we go. Press it up, drop it down. Exhale, push. Inhale, drop. So with this, if you want to keep the legs straight and do a little heel raise action to work through the ankles, press up, drop. Press it up, drop it down. Exhale, push. Inhale, drop. You can do both arms together here. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four more, three, you got this, two more, one more. Good job. Drop those shoulders down and around. Let's do one more sit of all of that. Ready? Here we go. So it's a little side lateral raise up. We go. Drop and lift up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale drop. Exhale lift. So the palms are down when you're at the top of the movement there. Lift it up and drop it down. Lift it up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. Now slow this down. We're going to do that front raise again. Thumbs up. And then lower. Thumbs up. And then lower. Drop those hips. Stand up tall and squeeze your glutes. Inhale on the drop. Exhale as you lift. Inhale. Exhale. Do one more slow, and then we're going to finish this set off with eight faster reps. Go. Drop down up eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. Now, flip the palms that way. Bend the knees. Hip hinge. Arms lift and drop. Let's start slowly first with this one. Exhale, press. Inhale, bound. Exhale, inhale. So you're really trying to what's called retract your shoulder blades together. Imagine making a crease in your upper back here. One more. Now eight faster reps. Go up eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, one. Now bring the dumbbells here. Again, alternate right arm, left arm. Press straight up over the head. Press up, drop it down. Two more, one at a time. One more time. 
Now, both together. Let's go. It's straight up. Drop it down. And again, at the heel raise there if you want to. Little calf strengthener, ankle strengthener up. Drop it down. Eight more reps. Here we go. Up eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. One more. Good job. Now drop the dumbbells down and around. All right, so drop them and swing your arms out. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do an exercise using the chair. We're going to do some push-ups, and then we'll flip it around and do some dips. So on the push-ups, uh, I'm almost kind of cheating, I feel like, it, because this chair is like really high. <laughs> and the higher up the surface, the easier your push-up will be. Obviously, the more your head is down, 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 all the way to like straight leg, straight arm on the floor is the hardest. But every time you kind of come up a little bit, it's just modifying, it's making it a little bit easier. Which for me is not such a bad thing, because I'm always trying to work around a little shoulder issue. So feel free to just do it on the floor with bent knees or straight legs. But if you have a chair, the hands are going to drape over the sides like that. I'm going to scoot this forwards just a bit. And then the legs go back straight. Make sure your shoulders are not back behind the wrists, but right over them like that. So when you bend the elbows, they're going to come straight back, almost like a yoga kind of chaturanga style push up instead of out like that it's gonna be this way so here we go we're gonna drop down for two counts and then exhale push up two. inhale drop exhale push keep your eyes on a focal point somewhere so that your head doesn't drop heavy like that you don't want to do that so imagine keeping your head in line with your spine so we inhale on the drop exhale as you press up inhale down Exhale up. Feel free to go further down into the chair if you're able to. Now eight reps quickly. Let's go. Down, up, eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Four more. You got this. Come on, three, two, and one. All right, so walk the feet in. If you have a back of the chair, hands right there. And then just take it into this kind of modified looking straddle down dog stretch. So the arms are straight. You can kind of drop one hip and lift this shoulder up. And then drop the right hip, lift the left shoulder up. Good. All right, drop the hands down and then just roll up, inhale. Exhale. All right, so next we're going to do dips. I'm just going to flip the chair like that and swish this around to this side. Okay, so make sure if you have a chair, I should have said this before the push-ups, but too late now. <laughs> if you have a chair that's on wheels like an office chair, not good, unless you've got it, you know, smacked up against the wall where it won't move. Um, but you want to, you know, a chair that's got stable... Stable legs. Okay, so for dips, again, hands are going to drape over the edges like that. So kind of scoot your bum to the very edge of the chair there. So let me show you two ways to do this. So knees can stay bent. I'm just going to slide my hips off. And when I bend my elbows, it's as if my back is kind of scraping the back side of the chair or the uh, front of the seat, actually, and then up. Now, to make it harder, you would just stretch the legs out straight. So same thing. If you have bad shoulders, probably want to do the bent knee version. Another option is to prop your feet up on a couch there or another chair. If you want to make it really hard, go for it. All right, so let's start. However you want to be, get there. Let's go. We're going to drop down up for 10. Inhale, exhale, 9. Keep your eyes looking straight ahead. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now go back down here. Just a little half lift. Barely up, barely up. Little push, push. 
Push, last eight, keep it going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then sit in your chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, this is a tricep exercise. It works your chest a little bit too, and your shoulders. And then reach up, inhale. Exhale, other side, push this elbow back. Good, inhale, reach. And then exhale, bring your hands in front, round your back, hollow out through the chest and the abdominals as you tuck your chin and spread your shoulder blades apart. Good, inhale up. Exhale, shoulders roll around. Okay, so let's see. We're almost out of time. Like I said, so many exercises and so little time. Just like what to do, what to do. <laughs> okay, I do want to do core though. So this is going to be a standing core exercise using the bands that I have attached up there. So if uh, you do not have bands like that, then what you can do is simply come down onto the floor on your back and just do some basic crunches, right? Just, so what I'm going to be doing essentially is a standing crunch same action, so if you're on the floor on your back, <clears throat> same action there. You just feel it a lot more here because I'm holding bands, which requires a little extra oomph and effort because I've got resistance. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do a little bit of a switcheroo just because I wanna make sure that um, you can see, you can see the other side of my room over here. Oh, and I hope the phone doesn't draw forward. Oh, this is the tricky part of all this. It's like if I touch my phone just barely the wrong way, the whole thing just goes collapsing down. Okay. There we go. I hope you can see me. All right. So I've got it attached again at the high point. I'm going to stand with my feet about hip width, maybe a little bit more apart. I'm going to drop the tail under and kind of sink down. So these are going to be standing obliques. I'm going to kind of rotate this way and I'm going to rotate that way. And then I'm going to do two just right dead center. So elbows are kind of pulling back. Now it probably looks like I'm doing an arm exercise and a little bit of that is happening, but really the focus is on the core making this movement happen, initiating from deep in those abdominal muscles. So inhale breath as the arms are outstretched. Exhale, we're going to rotate to your left. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, rotate to the right. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, straight over. One more like that, inhale. And then exhale, pull straight over. So do those four again. Inhale, exhale, rotate left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop right over. Inhale, and then exhale, over. Again, so we go reach, we twist left. We inhale, reach. We exhale, twist right. Inhale, reach. Exhale, two straight over. So we're gonna speed this thing up right here. Let's go. Inhale, reach, twist left. Reach, twist to the right. Two straight over. Good, now reach, twisting left. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist right. Inhale, straight over for two. Inhale, twist left. Twist right, over for two. Once again, reach, twisting left, twisting right, over for two. And then last time, let's go. Reach up, twisting left, inhale, reach, twist to the right, inhale, reach, over two. Good, all right. So you can tell that if you had <laughs> some heavy resistance, I mean, that was hard. I think that's the medium level band, but just having to pull against that, you really feel those oblique muscles working hard. All right, so next I'm going to take it to the floor. So if you've got your mat, and hopefully you are on a carpeted spot in your home where it's pretty soft and cushy. So we're just going to finish up with another core exercise coming down onto your 
hands into your knees. Inhale, breath. Let your belly drop, head up. Exhale, breath round, chin to chest, belly in. Do it again, inhale, belly drops, head up. Exhale, round, spread your shoulder blades apart. One more, inhale. And then exhale. Good, now flat back here. Inhale, breath, right leg, left arm reaching out. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath. So push the elbow and knee into each other, super strong. And then reach it out again, inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, breath, reach. Exhale, hand and knee down, and then round your back up here, chin to the chest. Good, now return to flat back. Same thing on the other side, ready? Let's go, it's left leg, and right arm out, inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow and knee bend, the back rounds, the belly pulls in, chin to chest, and then push, push, push them into each other strong. Again, reach out, inhale, breath. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more, inhale, breath, reaching out. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath, squeeze tight. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand and knee come down and then round your back up. Good, so we're gonna do that one more time, but I'm gonna show you a way to make it harder just for those of you that are always thinking, this is just like way too easy and wish you would show me how to make it harder. Well, here you go. Here is your chance. So all that, the same thing on the hand and knee or straight leg version. So you look like you're getting ready to do a plank. So lift your right leg up, left arm out. Inhale, breath, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. It's gonna be tricky to balance. Woo hoo. No, nah. do it again. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath. One more time. Inhale, breath, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Yay, 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 yay. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, hand down, foot down, or hand and knee down. Last time, other side. Let's go. Left leg, right arm out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath. Wah. Inhale, reach out. Should have practiced this before I showed y'all this. <laughs> yeah, exhale, elbow to knee. Well, at least it makes it fair playing ground, right? We're all doing it together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Ah! Exhale, hand and foot down. And then drop your knees. And then push back into child's pose stretch. Nice, long spine lengthening stretch here. All right, come on up. And then just have a sit. And let's do a quick little stretch, even though we didn't do lower body per se, but we can stretch our lower body. So step your left foot in front of your right thigh, sit your left sit bone down, hug your knee, twist to look over your left shoulder to the back. Good, and then release. Rock back, uncross, kind of go wee and then go there. Little Las Vegas showgirl move. <laughs> Sit your right hip down, right foot over here in front of this left thigh. Hug your knee, right hand on the floor behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, deepen into the twist. Look over your shoulder to the back. Good, and then release to the front. And then just extend your legs straight out in front of you. And what you're gonna do, let's see, where's my thing? It's over here. Don't wanna lose uh, reception. So arms out in front, interlace, and then round the back. Hollow out through the chest. Tuck your chin. Inhale, breath, reach up. And then on an exhale, drop your right elbow down and then a nice side body stretch here. And then press up, inhale, right arm up, left hand down, and then drop that elbow, side lean to your left. Good, and then come up, inhale, 
and then exhale, interlace behind, or you can just simply place your hands on the floor there, and then just open up through the chest and the shoulders. Lift your chin up, look up, inhale. And then exhale, relax. Good, and then roll your shoulders around. <clears throat> All righty, so we are done. Hope you feel like you got your upper body nicely worked out today. So tomorrow is yoga and a little Tai Chi. And I wanted to show you just one little thing. You know, I'm kind of on this little fitness health tip at the very end kind of pattern. So hope you all are okay with that. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. So a friend of mine gave me, um, this is kind of a funny story, I guess. <laughs> I have the hardest time getting hard boiled eggs to work properly. Um, it seems like they either come out just beautifully, no, no breaking and peeling and picking, but I'd say more often than not, they, um, it's just a mess. I end up like picking off half of the white and it's just a waste, you know, the shell just sticks to the egg itself. I'm sure there's a secret, so if you know it, um, message me and <laughs> tell me what your secret is to the perfect hard boiled egg. But these are these little, um, silicone things that you stick in water, in boiling water, you crack the egg and put it inside there, and then it <clears throat> uh, does it perfectly. You know, you do have to spray the inside with like Pam or olive oil or something, but it works. But I also like this because this is, um, I wanna talk a little bit about portion control. So there's a lot of research out of Cornell University about um, the plateware that you use, the bowls, the glasses, the, the dishes, um, that the size of it will really dictate how much you eat. And even though you know that you're getting a smaller bowl, even though you know that you're kind of, quote, trying to trick your own self, it works. Psychologically, it works. If you get smaller bowls, smaller plates, smaller glasses, just smaller everything, and just fill that up with whatever it is that you're having um, for that particular meal, um, you will find that you're more satisfied when you get to the end. I mean, there's a huge difference between, you know, say this much food in a little bowl where it's just like spilling over the top versus this much food on a huge charger plate. Um, you know, I just think about the portion sizes here in Texas. When I first came, I was just like flabbergasted at how much food they brought out. Um, but it's nice. You get a to-go box and there's plenty left over. But anyhow, I also use this particular little uh, hard-boiled egg gizmo um, for mixed nuts. Because I don't know about you, but um, if I just open up the big jar of mixed nuts or peanuts or almonds, I mean, I could just, it's very easy to do mindless eating and not even be aware of how much you've had. And it's almost like it doesn't even register in your brain in the satiety center that you've had that much. But um, I'll put in there, I've got just some mixed nuts. Oops, just spilled some. But um, just about that much is what I'll allow myself for a day. So I'll fill this up. I mean, I love nuts. I eat them pretty much every day. So I'll fill this thing up. And then when it's empty, it's like I'm done. You know, I don't really need to eat um, a cup of nuts, right? <laughs> so it just sort of helps keep me on track because um, it is very easy to, like I said, do that mindless eating um, when you're just pulling it out of the, out of the big container. Um, they say these single serving size um, packaging has been, has been great for people that are trying to lose weight. That, um, if you have a choice to buy something, you know, in the big you know, 48 ounce bag versus, you know, individual, you know, six ounce bags or whatever, that is the better option to get the single size, single size serving. Because when you go back to the pantry and you decide, um, let me get another one, you just, it does a trick on your brain. You kind of think about it like, uh, do I really want to get another one and another one and another one? But if you're just doing it out of a big bag, you're, you don't think that way. So anyways, hope that helps. Um, just a little tip, you know, there, in my opinion, there is no crash diet or exercise program that's going to work. Um, it's really a matter of just these small little incremental steps and um, habit changes integrated slowly over time. That's truly the key to success, and that's kind of the message that I want to 
portray. Um, I'm not going to spoon feed um, a diet and you got to eat this, this, and this every day, you know, for this amount of time and then eliminate this and then add in that. And just, I mean, I think a lot of that is gimmicky. Um, and a lot of that kind of marketing is um, clouded with verbiology that says secret and, you know, I've got the secret and, you know, bikini body and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, <laughs> Just not not my way, as you probably already know. But anyhow, so portion control. If you don't have small little bowls and plates, um, it might be a fun opportunity to go out and buy you some of those or go on Amazon and shop for some cute little um, dishes and bowls and cups that are smaller and just try it and uh, let me know how that works. Okay, love y'all. See you tomorrow for yoga and Tai Chi. Bye-bye.